What's up guys? <laughs> How you doing? Hello, I'm a Marks and finally welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long time. It's been a couple months actually and a lot of stuff has happened, a lot of personal drama, some very bad stuff happened and including like a loss of a friendship and everything like that. But I'm fine. I was sick, but everything's all cleared up and I'm back to be finally be making a video. Okay, so it's been about a year since I made my last video about the McKamey Manor and I thought why not make an update video about the whole downfall of the whole damn place because honestly, the McKamey Manor was such a joke and it got exposed last year that I'm actually happy that this whole COVID-19 bullshit happened because you know why? <laughs> no one ain't gonna be... No one gonna be hanging out for the McCammy Manor this year. <laughs> so, what has happened this year compared to last year? Well, apparently, Russ McCammy decided to make his Facebook very private because now it's very hard for anyone to search for him, which is kind of nice. Another thing that's pretty cool about this year with the whole coronavirus is that not only that there's probably no haunted houses coming, or at least very limited or few, that, uh, I guess ever since like the controversy and the COVID-19 happened, literally all the drama and all the controversy is like gone. And honestly, I think we won finally because uh, uh, that dude is a psychopath. Okay, all jokes aside, apparently Russ McKinney is going to continue his manner. More like he has no fucking manners. But oh my God, it's a Marks here. Shut <laughs> I was actually not expecting that, but all right. So Russ McCamey thinks he's immune to the COVID-19 this year, and he thinks that he could continue his manner. Well... You think you can mess with me? <laughs> I swear to God, I'm about to fucking slap my sister. <laughs> she wants to stop walking in. All righty, what I was saying is so apparently, um, Russ McCamey's actually going to continue his manner this year. It actually, <laughs> it's a joke. No, like... He literally has no one else. It's and on and what the crazy part is, there is a guy named the Willis Productions. He actually did an interview on Russ McKinney to update the whole manner for 2020. And actually, we're gonna educate ourselves and react to the whole thing. So uh, okay. I was about to say, dang, you're busy. Do you never just do you know do you not stop? No, man. It's go, 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 go. About one minute and the car will be stopped and I'll I'll do this right with the car, but we're okay. Okay, do you want to start now or do you want to wait till you stop? You can start now. So okay. All right, cool. You are pretty much a legend in the haunt world. Can you explain what McCammy Manor is? McCammy Manor is a survival horror boot camp type experience that you go through and it's all personalized. and It's, it's like a haunted house, but more extreme. And uh, it's just fun. It's just fun to do, man. We have a lot of really cool things that uh, that you'd like to do here under the manor, under the manor's name. What's been different with the COVID world? Are you still operating? Oh, yeah, still, still operating. It's not really any difference for me because it's a, a single one-man show. It's just me. I don't have actors, so I don't need – to worry about them. This dude thinks he don't need any actors to run a whole haunted house. Bro, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I know you ran your bullshit last year and like it looked nothing scary or even professional, but anyone needs to work with someone to work in a haunted house, bro, because this is not going to work out, especially with all the limited like customers you can have. It's ridiculous that you think you can do this all on your own. And the guest wears a mask a lot when you're here. You wear a hood. And so it may not be the mask that they want to wear, but they're going to wear one of my masks. <laughs> I was oh, God. I do like how he's saying that, like, straight up, he's going to give everyone a mask because of COVID, you know, to help prevent the spread. But it's ironic because he's just going to do stuff way worse than Corona will ever do to you. Fucking ironic. Wondering if you were, like, implementing coronavirus in the scare tactics, you know, like coughing on them or something? No, no, I don't do that. <laughs> I'm not that mean. I mean, I'm mean and everything, but not that mean. You're not that mean, dude. 
dude, slapping your freaking customers, you know, putting stuff in their mouth, putting tranches on their face, even like getting a goddamn screwdriver and shit, and torturing them. Yeah, you're not that mean. All right, all right. But no, we're, we're worried about COVID on you, bro. No, come on. Okay, you know how last year Russ McKimmy claimed there was going to be a $20,000 winner for this crazy haunted house? Well, now this is what Russ McKinney has to say about this haunted house this year. Right now, right now we're doing a hunt called Descent. Descent. It's a it's a six hour hunt. But if if you if you got what it takes, you know we'll stay here all day long because because it's fun for me too. So if you're really doing well, and you can last longer than your prescribed time, that's cool. We'll we'll keep on going. Is there still a prize if you because if you keep on going, um, then you don't actually get to the finish line. So is there no more prize for getting to the end? No more prize. Just, just, just bragging rights now. What? No more prize? Why not? You promised it last year. It's not like you screwed that guy a year ago, you know, who got like uh, eight hours or nine hours in and you only had like an hour to go. Why not, bro? Man. Yeah, this proves the show that this whole thing was a scam and I was right all along because all of a sudden, no prize? What's the big deal? You were so confident in the money last year. No one won it. Why not do it now? Come on. You should do the prize again, but no. I don't think you got it, bro. Sorry. I don't think you got it. What's actually kind of funny is earlier in this video or stream, Russ McKinney actually has a legit excuse why no one won it last year. And here's his reason why. Gotcha. Saying like, oh yeah, I outlasted the original yeah. tour time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the money thing, I, I took the money off the table because I was getting so many knuckleheads trying to come through. Because could you can imagine... If you're offering $20,000, yeah. which is what I was doing, right, then you're going to get people coming through for the wrong reasons. Yeah. People come through not because they want to experience the manor and, and just have a good time. They're going there because this is my last ditch effort. Yeah. This is how way for, you know, for me to get out of debt, it's just true. for me to wait to do whatever. And the manor is always going to win. No one's ever going to win that money. Nobody. Okay. Yeah, his excuse is that people are going in there with the wrong intentions accordingly. No, because you didn't want to give them the damn prize. Just admit it, buddy. And what's funny is <laughs> he claims the manor always wins. And obviously it does always win because he always, you know, doesn't let people win. It's kind of, it's so funny with all this crap that uh, you figured that with Russ McCammy, you figured... Why not give out some prize? But no, he, like torturing people for six hours is not <laughs> for bragging rights. You, you got to be crazy for one to do that. And two, that's not even worth it. That's just a joke. This, is, this whole thing is just going to flop. And I just know it. But I've tried to make things easier. Yeah, I think I saw in a recent live stream or something you did that you switched up the, the uh, tour or the haunt. Yeah. Um, a little bit to make yeah. people so actually now, yeah they're able to finish it if they they're able to finish it they're they able to make it through it's, so now it's now it's an experience more than you know now they're taking the money off the table i'm not trying to win mm -hmm. so I, I just want to give them a, a fun a fun show and it was called abyss which was which was a three-hour experience and then we bumped it up to descent which is a six-hour show but, but both of those are things that you will complete. There's no reason why you cannot finish either Abyss or Descent. They're just fun. You know, it's just fun stuff. It's not, it's not like the, the harder versions that, that I've done in the past. So, do, you, um, do you still record them? On your, on your, or no, because you don't have the amount of people? No, I still record them, though. I do a lot of live feeds now. I find myself getting lazy. Instead of like recording everything on cameras, which I used to do, now I'm recording everything on live feeds for the live group. So if you're inside the group, the closed group on Facebook, the one with 24,000 members in it, then you can watch the live shows, at least oh. some stuff. How, how do we find that? That's What's the name of it? It's just called McKamey Manor Official. And... Okay. And then you have to then find the group that's got 24,000 members in it. And then you need to answer all the questions. And I think, I think, I think there's like 600 people pending right now. Just try, just trying to get in. Wow. 
Okay, so he wants to do live feeds instead of cameras. I feel like that's just a legal loophole, you know, that, you know, not get in trouble seeing you torture people. And it's also behind a closed group. So, you know, only like-minded people can only join. That is, that screams shady. That's really shady, dude. <laughs> I don't really blame him on me if I was psycho too and I was trying to hide my evidence and stuff. Like, it's not like I already put it on the internet. But it's like, if I wanted to hide my evidence, I, you know what? <laughs> I better, better make it private or else I'm fucked. I will say one thing about this. I did find it really interesting that even one creator on the internet, on Facebook, managed to actually interview this dude without, you know, without some hater, I guess, hating on him while he's interviewing. It's kind of neat. It's really interesting, but <laughs> I just... I feel I feel bad for his haunted house only because I know it's gonna fail and you can't work alone all the time, especially when you're working in a haunted house. The only thing you could probably use is his dogs, because honestly, I would use my dogs too if I had a haunted house. But yeah, poor Rust McCammy. So anyways, uh, that will be it for the interview for this video. If you want to watch the rest of the interview, the link would be down in the description below. And yeah, this is the update for the Russ McCammy Manor. It's now called Descent, and I like how they rename it. Probably, you know, to avoid people from tracking them down or something. I don't know. That's kind of dumb. But I'm surprised, like I said, that he even have a haunted house this year. I'm surprised he's even trying. And what are your thoughts on this, guys? Uh, do you guys agree with this? Do you disagree? Uh, feel free to leave down in the comment section below. And yeah, that would be it for uh, today's video. Okay, guys, if you made it this far into the video, all I'd like to say is welcome to my new apartment. It's brand new. It's nice. Uh, things didn't work out, of course, with my roommate, but that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> I needed to get my own place anyways. And another thing is, oh, um... I lost my ads on my YouTube, and I thought I opened up a Patreon again. And honestly, for now, I'm just gonna do like a dollar, uh, dollar or two a month just to support. I will add in some perks and stuff for the future, with, with of course higher tiers. I like think like two dollars could be like a Discord server thing. I don't know. I might reinvent all that. But yeah, if you want to do the Patreon thing, go ahead. I really don't like. I'm not passionate about Patreon, but it's. I don't have any ads, and I thought, you know what? Why not just reopen it up just for the people who want to support? Because there's going to be someone out there <laughs> that wants to support. And, of course, now I am doing, like, a, a, a couple of a setup gear videos. Not videos, but I have gear that you can click on the bottom description of the video. It's, like, the gear I use for my YouTube video. So if you guys ever want to buy anything that's, like, my gear, like my microphone, my camera, or something like that, it will all be in the description below. And I... Hope you guys check it out. If you guys have any ideas that you want me to do, like you can do merch or something, or like, you know, make a little sticker or something for the Patreon or something, uh, just let me know, because I love to hear your ideas. And um, as long as I can realistically do them. And yeah, that'd be cool. And I guess it's been, it's nice seeing you guys, and I'll see you guys later. And <laughs> happy late Halloween, or not late, early Halloween. And I hope to see you guys in a couple days, because I'll be back on that YouTube grind. Because grind time! And also, I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. I gained like over 100 subscribers when I was gone. And thank you guys for sticking with me and not uh, unsubscribing. And thank you guys for being surprisingly loyal. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.